hello everyone and welcome back to my channel students hope you are all doing well so today i'm with the problem solving video for the mom subject mechanics of materials for the mechanical engineering students so its subject code is bme301 so far i have discussed the sfd bmd problem and on the mohar circle okay and also the passing package for this particular subject you can go through i have provided the link in the description box today i will solve the question number c question number 1c of the model question paper right a brass bar having a cross section area of 900 mm square is subjected to axial forces as shown in figure so this is a brass material over here brass bar so it is cross sectional area is 900 mm square right and also ab is equal to 0 0.6 meter so this length is 0 0.6 meter and bc is equal to 0 0.8 bc is equal to 0 0.8 meter and this one cd is equal to cd is equal to 1 meter over here right so this is your figure then find the total elongation of the bar in these type of questions you are supposed to calculate total elongation okay of this particular bar if you are applying the forces uh, either tensile forces or compressive forces see this is your in uh, the force acting in the left hand direction so that is your compressive force over here okay and uh, sorry this is here tensile for this particular segment later on when i take the segments you will uh, have the clear picture on this particular problem okay so for uh, here uh, young's modulus is given 1 into 10 raised power 5 newton millimeter square okay so for these type of problems what you have to do step by step i will tell you and in the examination you have to write in the same format okay so first of all given write down the given data e is equal to 900 millimeter square e is equal to 1 into 10 raised power 5 newton millimeter square okay and also uh, here it is in meters length is in meters between the segments so you have to convert it in, into the millimeters as area is given in the millimeters okay so i can convert here 0 0.6 millimeter uh, sorry meter if i have to convert into millimeter you have to simply multiply with 1000 you will get the uh, what we call in terms of millimeters 600 millimeter you will get and this one 0 0.8 into 1000 which is equal to 800 millimeter and 1 meter into 1000 which is your 1000 millimeter okay i hope up to this step it is easier one now for equilibrium this bar should be in equilibrium means for equilibrium of the bar of the bar loads acting loads acting towards right side towards right side must be equal to must be equal to the loads loads acting towards left side towards left side see what is what does this statement mean over here loads acting towards right side must be equal to loads acting toward left side means this load is acting on the right hand side this should be equal to the loads which are acting in the left direction okay so see here what is the force here that is 70 kilo newton it is acting on the right hand side see here the arrow is shown here on the right hand side so i can write here 70 kilo newton should be equal to be equal to the load is acting towards left side so see the forces acting on left side are here 20 kN, 10 kN is acting left side 40 is also acting towards left side so i can take here 40 plus this 20 kN is also acting in left side plus 10 is also acting in left hand side so 70 is equal to 40 plus 20 plus 10 is also 70 so this equation is definitely in the equilibrium over here okay now we will proceed for these uh, we will take separate segments from this bar so that we can analyze what is the total elongation okay first of all i will take ab segment so this is your ab segment okay and next one is your bc segment okay then cd segment i will take okay so now how to take the forces first of all when you are taking the forces uh, suppose if you are taking on the left hand side first so cover all these forces okay see here when you just cover these forces only i am left with the 40 kN force over here okay so you have to represent it over here so it is uh, acting on the left hand side so i can take it as here 40 kN acting on left hand side and also you have to <coughs> make sure that uh, the uh, forces on the right hand side are having the positive value okay and also uh, the force acting on a uh, left hand side have negative value over there okay 
so forces in the right hand side are having positive value forces acting towards left hand side are having negative value okay this uh, sign convention you need to remember over here okay so uh, we have taken first the 40 kilo newton which is acting on the left hand side okay so now cover this this much portion for this particular segment we are taking only one segment right ab segment so what are the forces are acting here see here the right hand side forces i will take positive and left uh, the forces which are acting left hand side okay towards left hand side so i, I have to take them as negative over here so first of all i will take a right hand side is positive so 70 positive and 20 is acting on the left hand side so i have taken i have to take it as negative minus 20 and this 10 is also acting uh, what we call in the left hand side uh, left hand direction so i have to take minus 10 okay the total force will be 40 sorry 70 minus 20 minus 10 that will be 40 positive 40 if it is positive then i have to take it on the right hand side so i have to show this force on the right hand side like this okay this is the complete free body diagram of the first segment next bc so for bc if i have to take uh, left hand side forces so see here cover all the right hand portions okay what are the forces are there 40 kilo newton is acting on the left hand side so it will be negative and 70 kilo newton is take uh, acting on the right hand side so 70 kilo newton i have to take positive so see here 70 is positive and this for this particular segment so 40 is negative okay in the left hand side direction so minus 40 i will take so what i will get 70 minus 40 is 30 kilo newton it is positive so for positive i have to show the force in right hand side direction so i can take this force as in this direction i hope you are getting it right so this is 30 kilo newton so now i have to calculate this much so now you have to cover this much portion see here this was the segment bc i have taken i have calculated this by covering this much portion of this side of this particular uh, segment so i am getting 40 and 70 kilo newton now i have to hide this much portion see this side i have to hide now which forces are left 20 kilo newton and 10 kilo newton the direction is left hand side so i have to take in a negative over here so minus 20 and this 10 is also acting left hand side so minus 10 so it will be minus 30 when we are getting negative values so what is the direction direction is left left hand side okay i have to show this for us like this one 30 kilo newton is the magnitude negative directions uh, what we call it, show that it is acting on the left hand side okay this is your second segment free body diagram of second segment now for third segment cd for cd just cover this much portion okay suppose if i have to calculate this forces uh, on the c side i have to uh, hide this one this side i have to uh, hide then what are the forces 40 kilo newton 70 kilo newton 20 kilo newton so 40 is on the left hand side so negative i have to take it so minus 40 and this uh, 70 is positive in the right hand side direction as it is in the right hand side direction that is positive 70 and this 20 kilo newton is on the left hand side acting left hand side that is minus 20 so 70 minus 40 is 30 30 minus 20 is 10 that is positive 10 i am getting so if i am getting positive value so i have to take the force on the right hand side so i can show this force as like this okay this is your 10 newton uh, sorry 10 kilo newton it is in the kilo newton now on the right hand side see here now i have to hide these all forces I am left with the 10 kilo newton which is acting on the left hand side simply i can show it over here as 10 kilo newton now what is the question you have to find out the total elongation of the bar so there is the formula which i have to write now so there are two formulas one for the elongation one for the one for the contraction okay so you can observe in these segments so this is the extension force okay when you are extension extensing a bar okay so it will be elongated right so in these type of two segments you are observing these are the compressive forces so you, you are compressing a bar it will be definitely its length will be decreased okay its length will be also decreased and this length will be increased so you have to check the overall elongation in this particular bar over here okay so i can take the for first segment for first or first segment okay elongation i can take elongation there is a formula for elongation that is delta 1 is equal to f1 l1 divided by a1 e okay so uh, this f1 in some books it is also a p that is load so no need to confuse over here it is also p l1 divided by a1 e 
P over here. Okay, so I can write here also P1, L1, A1, E. Okay, this is also a formula. So now tell me in the first segment, what is the force? 40 kilonewton, 40 kilonewton. Okay, so 40 into 10 raised to the power 3. You have to convert it into the newtons. So I am taking here 40 into 10 raised to the power 3 into length. Length is I have calculated here that is 600 millimeter converted into the millimeter. Okay, that is 600 divided by a1e. What is the area? Area is the area is given in the question that is 900 millimeter square. So 900 into e. E is the Young's modulus. It is also given that is 1 into 10 raised to the power 5. So 1 into 10 raised to the power 5. You will get the elongation in millimeter. So let me calculate first it over here. So I will calculate it. What is it? 40 into 10 power 3 multiplied by 600 divided by 900 into 10 power 5. Okay, you are getting here 0 0.26. So 0 0.26 millimeter is the elongation in the uh, first segment. Now, if I take another segment, so for second segment, second segment, okay. So obviously it is contraction over here. I cannot take the elongation. So I, I have to take contraction. So contraction will happen. So contraction that is delta 2 will be equal to F2 L2 divided by A2 E. Okay. So what is the force here? 30 kilonewton. So 30 kilonewton into length. Length is 800 millimeter. 800 millimeter divided by area. Area is same 900 into 1 into 10 power. Five, okay, so 30 into 10 power 3 I have to take that is why I am uh, converting it into the newtons. Okay, so let me calculate it So I will just change it over here 10 is power 3 will remain same only I have to take 30 kilonewton into 800 right divided by 900 into 10 raised power 5 will remain same which is equal to same 0 0.26 so contraction I am also getting as 0 0.26 fine Next for third segment, for third segment also contraction will happen, okay. So contraction delta 3 will be equal to this one, force, force 3 L3 A3 E, okay. So what is the force here? That is 10 kilonewton. So 10 into 10 raised to power 3 into length is 1000 millimeter okay divided by area is 900 into 1 into 10 power 5 so i will just calculate it over here that is 1000 and force is 10 okay 10 into 10 is 40 into 1000 divided by this which is equal to 0 0.11 so 0 0.11 1 this is your uh, contraction and elongation for these particular bars over here for particular bar over here okay now i have to calculate the total change in length so total change in length it is given by delta is equal to delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3 but see here delta 1 is the elongation so elongation we are taking as positive 0 0.26 as positive definitely in these two bars the length will decrease so i have to take negative value that is minus 0 0.26 sorry this is your oh yes 0 0.26 minus 0 0.26 and delta 3 is 0 0.11 as it is contraction so it will be definitely definitely we will take it in negative direction that is minus 0 0.11 okay now let me calculate it. this is 0 0.26 minus 0 0.26 it is 0 so minus 0 0.11 i will get 0 0.11 okay so in conclusion we can write conclusion what is the conclusion total change total change in length of the bar length of the bar delta is equal to this one 0 0.11 this negative direction shows that overall there is a contraction there is no elongation okay so 0 0.11 is the overall change in length in bracket you can write down contraction okay so this is all about today's problem okay i hope this is clear to you people if you have some doubts you can ask me in the comment section so thanks for watching my video